All right, I'm going to show you how to make a runtime advanced file. First thing we're going to do is go to our device configuration. Click on our runtime advance and make sure that it compiles. All right, it's good. No errors, just a few warnings. Uh, the one thing that we can make sure of is how many tags we have on our HMI. So this is what we're going to need for our license for the runtime. So that's one thing that you would need to know before you buy the license to know how many tags you need. So now all you would have to do, since it compiled right, you need to just press Project Save As and save it in a location where you can find it. So like with me, I'm going to save it to the desktop under test HMI. So I'm going to press save, put a test HMI, and click OK. So now let's go to the folder where we saved it as test HMI. We're going to go to the IM folder, and we're then going to go to HMI, and then you're going to keep on foldering down till you see generates. Double click that one, and this PDATA file is what you're going to be looking for inside your project. If somehow you can't find that, go to the main folder structure and just type it in the search PDATA. And then that dot W or dot FWC, that's the one that you're wanting to look for. If you just double click on that right now, as long as you have the runtime license, and power tags, it should be able to run. So right now it's connected up to a PLC and I can see it. So that's what you'll want to copy to the PC that you're gonna be running the runtime on. So as long as you save as and you move that whole folder onto the PC that you're wanting to put the runtime on and find that PData file, you should be able to open up the runtime as long as you have the license. All right, thanks for watching.